Hey everyone, it's Project SPC, and I'm back today to show you how to change TDP on the AMD Mini Pro 6800U by one netbook. I'm going to be using my software, and it's called Power Control Panel V2, and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Go to the web page below, and then hit the Releases button right here. Once you're there, select the latest revision, and you're going to click the Assets button. There's going to be some zip files down below. If you already have .NET Framework 6 installed, you can download the top one. Otherwise, download the self-contained, and it has everything you already need. Once you've downloaded and extracted that, you can hit the EXE there, and it will open up the software that looks like this. This is Power Control Panel, and there's plenty of things that you can change in this software. First off, this is the home page. And this is actually one of three views. There's a couple different views you can select from, and I'll show you those later. But this is called the tile view. We have TDP, max CPU frequency, active cores, volume brightness, GPU clock, display resolution, display scaling, refresh rate, FPS limit, profile, and fan speed. And I'll go over some of those in a moment. If you wanted to change TDP, you could click on that tile and you can drag that over. And now we're at 23 watts. Let's take a look at brightness. We can see that the brightness dimmed. We can even control the fan on 1x player units. Go ahead and click on the fan speed. And we're going to see that right now it is hardware controlled, which means that the microcontroller on the device is handling the fan speed, but we can change that to software control. I'll click the drop down and I'll click it on manual mode. Now I can go back in and I can manually adjust the fan speed. So right now it's at 40%. I'm going to crank it all the way up to hundred percent. And we can hear it going in the background. And we'll switch it back to hardware mode and it took the fan to zero. There is a quick access menu available for games that are non full screen exclusive. Not every game is full screen exclusive, but some of them won't be compatible with this. To open the on screen menu, we're going to press the LB, RB and the right D pad. And then this view shows up. Now this is actually one of the views you can select for the home page, and this is called the slider view. So you can customize your home page to look like this as well. Right now the TDP is set to 23 watts. We're on the main screen right now, so it's not actually using 23 watts. But if I drag this down past 10 watts, we should see the package power change. And now we're limited to six watts. Another thing you can do on this is set up profiles. Profiles can be applied via the menu that I showed you earlier, or they can be applied by an application starting. Right now I have a default profile and a heaven profile. Now the default profile is what is applied when you first start the app. And it is also the profile that gets applied when an application profile ends. I also have one here called heaven. And if I click on that, we're going to see 28 Watts on charger and then 15 Watts on battery. So when I run the profile heaven, or the application heaven, which I'll show you in just a moment. It's going to set it to either 15 watts on battery or 28 on charger. Let's check out the application settings real quick. We have the application heaven right here. And if I click on that, we're going to see that the process name is called heaven. So when it detects heaven running, it's going to apply the heaven profile. The TDP is set to 9 watts now, but if I go ahead and I run Heaven Benchmark, we should see that jump up to 15. And right now it's at 7 watts. And now we're up to 15 watts. If I plug in a charger, it should jump up to 28 watts. And there we go, we're up to 28 watts. Another thing you can set if you have River Tuner installed is an FPS limit. So right now I have it set to unlocked and we're at over 100 FPS. 
With an integration to River Tuner, I can set it at 60, 40, or 30 FPS. This is especially good on devices that can set a 40 Hertz refresh rate. We can lock the FPS at 40 when the game settings don't allow it. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my software power control panel. There's a link to the pre-order page for the AMD Mini Pro 6800U in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe, and thanks for watching.